Hi everyone, welcome to the start of my April haul. So I decided I'm going to do monthly hauls and I always think that I'm going to start the month off um, being a short haul, but we will see where this month takes us because March was a long one. <laughs> Um, anyways, this was an order from March that I just got in, and it is from Sugar Pop Fizz. She participated in, I believe it was the Ultimate Planner sale, and, um, and she's in it again, which will go, oh, let's see, it will have already passed after you've seen this video, so never mind, but be on the lookout, follow her, um, Instagram page. She um, likes to participate in collaborative sales or she does a lot of $2 Tuesdays or her own like new release weekend sales. Um, I forget the name of it. It's a really cute name that she calls for her new release weekend sales. Anyways, great shop. I've already recommended her. I'm already going to be repurchasing. I already know. So I destroyed this packaging because I have no chill whatsoever, but I always love sugar pop fizz packages she writes a little i'm not going to show you my invoice but she always writes a little thank you with your name and cute little washi tape and though she folds this up i tried to recreate it and then i was like i just can't i messed it up too much anyways um like i said this was the ultimate planner sale for march and um yeah so these are the goodies that i got I also destroyed this packaging as well. Um, so I got an oops bag and some foil stuff because she's been releasing a lot of cute foil, a PP Weeks kit, and some other stuff. So let's start off from top to bottom. So the first thing I got was this little bag of samplers, which I think she does for the first like set of orders. And I think she's based out of Florida. Or Sugar Pop Fizz, not just now, but Sugar Pop Fizz is based out of Florida. And I think since it's East Coast time and I'm on Pacific Standard Time, and when I place my orders at like 10 at night, which is kind of what always happens, um, I think they get bumped as like the first orders of the day. So I kind of feel like I'm cheating the system, but the, I'm really not trying to, regardless. <laughs> I'm sure other people are doing it too. This is the little bag of samplers. So I'm not gonna read through them too much. I'll just kind of let you look. You can see the shop name. Oh yeah, the planner, oh, not ultimate planner sale. I messed it up. These collab sales are so hard to remember. The planner collective, TPC, not UPS, TPC. I think Mal and Sugar Pop Fizz have been in this for the past two. I think they're on their third one. These are so cute. I've heard of this shop before, Avalon and Ninth. These little squiggles. Oh, those are dainty little ones. Anyways. Samplers are really fun. I don't often like remember the shops, which is really bad because I think that's the whole point. Is that Lisa Frank inspired? Correct me if I'm wrong. That's hilarious. That sparked my love of stickers. That and like, <laughs> sounds so bad, the dollar store stickers. I remember they used to have like really, really good stickers back as a kid. And they'd have like mini binders that I could collect my stickers that I got. It, if anybody knows what I'm talking about or they had like the same childhood memory, please let me know with either Lisa Frank or like, your little sticker binders. I would never take out any of the stickers. They were not stickers to use, they were just stickers to collect. And I guess I'm kind of the same as an adult. Okay, and that one. So, cute freebies. I'll go through them another time. Then let's move on to um, the freebies for shop specific freebies. So I love her business card per usual. Let's go in here. Then every month she picks a little die cut that the Facebook group votes on, and this is the die cut of the month. I think there was two different options, and you would just get random because it was a tie on the Facebook poll. That one's really cute. I think that's the one I voted for. This is the TPC just general freebie. So it was themed, I think, like 
not old school like video games but 80s or 90s I don't remember what the theme was but that kind of vibe I love the colors then this was her March freebie some of my favorites love the yay love the rainbow and little hearts so cute and then I put in Tiff's code um, that's her Instagram username, but her new PR team is pretty solid and all their freebies are really cute. And I love that little flat lay of outfits. I have a full sheet of that. This is the 15 plus freebie, so she has tiered freebies. Um, I don't play video games personally, but I do have little nephews that are getting into video games and their birthdays are coming up in June, so... I am sure they will have like a little video game birthday party theme or something. You can use that for that. Okay, let's. Okay, moving on to what I actually ordered. So I ordered these Happy Mail little bubble mailers and sticker sheets. So cute. I love that. Then I ordered these little wedding sampler and they come in three different shades. This is a and then shade b is like a muted version and shade c is the pink mauvey scale and yeah i am a matron of honor in a wedding and we have some events and stuff and we have a couple more weddings coming up in the next year or two with people delaying and then now having their wedding so figured this would be perfect and I like that this middle row is kind of general, like I could use that for just like shopping and birthdays and stuff too, which is awesome. Then the two foil purchases I made, I went through my collection and I really wanted to try her dividers out. So I got this in rose gold and I like that her rose gold is a, oh, I'm like blinding you. See if I can pick it up here. There kind of, it's more of your copper rose gold than your pink rose gold, which I personally prefer. I know that is a little bit of a planner debate, but these squiggles are so cute. I got the smaller size, which I believe is A, and I love that they are kiss cut. So I'm a fan of that, and I think they're just, like I said, really dainty and really cute. I love the doodle effect to them too. Then the other foil item that I got, I was just kind of dipping my toes in her foil to see if I like it, are these circle cut date dots which I love and I love the font. So you get, let's see, three sets. I love that it's just straight. There's no gaps because I feel like it maximizes the page. I know some people might not like that, but I like that. And this is in font, check, ah, B, yeah. And this is in gold, like I think I maybe said. And I like her gold. It's a hot gold, but it's not like, Mm, too hot if that makes sense it's like a really good neutral gold it's not one way or the other next up is the pp weeks kit that i got oh sorry about that that was like my knee that just cracked um this is the miami pp weeks i thought this would be a fun kind of you know working um i'm back in school so it's not a work from home but just a fun like intro to summer i love the colors and yeah, and then I got the little washi add-on. So love that. Really excited about this little PP Weeks kit. Next up are these tabs. So Sugar Pop Biz has so much on her shop. There's like so many goodies that I feel like I have on my wish list because some of them are planner. I mean they're all planner stuff, but she has keychains, she has stickers, she like um, stickers for like your water bottle or your laptop or um, she has die cuts, she has, I don't know. One of the things she has is planner tabs or just tabs and you can get it laminated, unlaminated, dated, undated, all that stuff. And I wanted to try this for my reusable sticker album that I got from Sadie Stickers. I feel like currently I have, um, I'm just trying to find it really quick. I have these really janky tabs that I got from Target and they just like 
completely come off. Like, look at, if I go to pull the page, oh, there's my divider. That's not even me trying. I did not plan that. I could do that for every single page. Boom, it's off. So they're basically a joke is what I'm trying to say. And so I haven't tested these out, but if I'm happy with them, then maybe I will do a little collection flip through um, of the, that album. But I'm hoping that these will stick better. They're a little sturdier and they go on both sides of the page. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I also love the color scheme. I think it'll be better than this. It's really a little chaotic. So hoping this will be a good problem or a good solution to my problem. Then last thing I got were these oops bags. And if you follow me on Instagram, I got the last oops doodle bag. And I was so excited. I was trying to order multiple and I couldn't. And I was like, why can't I order more than one? Why won't it let me? I was getting kind of frustrated with myself and not like actually frustrated, just sticker frustrated. But then I realized that there's only one left in stock. So I quickly checked out and which is probably for the best because I probably would have gotten more if I had more time. But yeah, so um, I don't know if you were promised a set number, but you were, it was just doodle. You could get foil, you could get $2 Tuesday, or you could just kind of get like doodle random. And that's what I got. So I actually got this like old sampler. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry, there's a coupon code at the bottom. If you saw that, that's fine. But I don't know what the planner etiquette is for that. Old freebie sampler. Always cute stuff. Then... Um... <laughs> sorry. Total just blank. Then, on what these are called, the ornaments is what I got. Which, obviously, is out of season. Um, I have already pre-inspected all this. And the misfits are really hard. Like, I can't tell a misfit here. But these are really cute. I think these will be really fun to have in my collection for Christmas because like Christmas sneaks up so fast and by the time I want my Christmas stickers, Christmas is over. Or like I get my Christmas stickers, Christmas is over. So these are cute. Um, the red ones say Merry and Bright on the inside and I like the variety of sizes. That's typical for her doodles and I love that. Next up is something I'm a little confused. You can tell it's an oops because obviously it's like a miscut. It runs all the way down to the bottom. But I don't know if I can pick up at all what this is. But I'll try to describe it. Basically, it's like a mix. There we go. I'll just take this off. Of layering pieces. So... It took me a little bit. I just totally messed up that order. Or the, the alignment of it all. There are, oh, you can maybe see. It's so faint on my end too. Big dots, little dots, some flags, some, I just literally uh, can't even tell. Some hearts, some more flags. But yeah, so you can really tell that this one's a misfit. Oh, there must be some headers. It, they're really hard to tell so I'm we'll try to find a way to use it because I think in the core it's totally fine but a little unique have to think about it next up is this little tiny um computer and I think the misfit is that typically well I'm not sure oh I see the misfit's down here she looks like it got like covered up with another piece of paper I don't know if that was on purpose or accident this is part of her like tiny icons and sometimes she'll have like a heart or a bow if you order it that way. But this is just plain. This would be cute with like a foil accent or like colored in. I don't know. I'll make it work. Laptops are easy. This is super cute. This was on a $2 Tuesday and I think it's supposed to be foiled and I honestly have no idea what the air is. But obviously something on their end. But I personally prefer that it's black. Same with this. I have this um, in black as well. And I think there's just like a little smudge there. 
So both of these are $2 Tuesdays and I am really happy about them. They're really great for monthlies. Here are these little icons. That's the little laptop. And this is in pink on clear, which I'm a big clear fan. And I actually really like this pink color and I like the hearts and the sample variety I think is so cute. So I'm really excited about this. I don't see anything wrong um, with it on my end. So all good for me. Same with these. Oh, I see what's wrong. This one has one missing. <laughs> That's totally fine. So these are little bows and I love her bows that come in her samplers and these are just bows on clear. And I think that's really cool and cute and different. And then last is a little trash with the bow. And this is her big size. I think for just comparison, big and small. Just as a reference if you ever order on her site. So tiny and big. I personally like the tiny. That's what I have for my TV icons and I have laundry as well in that same. Let's see if I can pull one out. There you go. That's my uh, teeny TV icons. So that is it for that, um, this really quick order. I guess it's kind of quick, um, kind of long. But I hope that you enjoyed. It's always fun to see grab bags, I feel like. Um, I always try to find grab bag unboxing or like people ordering them to see kind of what I'm getting myself into. And I feel like I ordered a good variety of things. So this is my Sugar Pop Biz order from the, what's the sale called again? Ah! the planner collective sale. So go follow her on Instagram to see her different sales and different events. And I will catch you for my next happy meal. Okay. Up next is an order from buy, sell, trade, the scribble prints buy, sell, trade. I really try to stay off of it. Um, and stuff just goes really fast, but I saw somebody put up heart checklist box, which I really love for my PP weeks planner. And I want to continue doing that next school year. So just kind of in preparation, um, I wanted some heart checklist box. And she put up, I think she said about like eight pages or like 60 boxes for $8. I was like, that's pretty good. So um, yeah, and then she decided to throw in a couple extra from Jessica Hearts. And then um, there was kind of a shipping mishap. And... Um, she didn't send it out when she said she did. Anyways, long story short, it was all good. She was so, so, so nice. She threw in two Scribble Prince Co. kits because she felt really bad. Um, so yeah, literally no bad blood. There was no rush. It was totally fine. She did not have to do that at all. And she was really, really kind. And yeah, so I'll just kind of go through all of that. So this is what I actually bought with these heart checklist boxes. And she did kind of a spread. So I saw... Um, Sorry, there's like a hair hanging from my jacket. Um, so I saw the colors up front, but I didn't really care. Like I said, it was just a good deal. <laughs> so I have no idea what kits. I could probably guess, but I'm not going to because it's kind of irrelevant. So I'll just flip through them. Some are older, some are newer. And you can see, like, she used one of those. It's totally fine. Or this one just has one. Same with this one. That's totally fine. I, like I said, don't care. And then she threw in this one from Keytown, which I probably won't use. These ones are cute. The little clovers are unique, but cute colors. These are also unique, but really pretty. And then those are just standard heart boxes. So... Overall, I feel like I got my money's worth, especially for my PP weeks um, next school year. I'm excited to just kind of use leftover boxes and to just kind of treat that as just my leftover spreads. So yeah, loving that. And then she also included in, I'll just flip through really quick. I don't know the names of either of these little kits, but this one, there. she said that they were super old. Um, that's a little sampler. And yeah, I might use these in for summer school for my PP weeks. 
just kind of take what boxes I want. The colors are really cute. I just don't know if the full boxes are my style, especially this one. This is definitely not my style, but for my PP weeks, this is totally perfect. Those are the full boxes. So you can see a lot older style. But another set of heart checklists. Totally fine and fun. And just kind of fun to see how far Scarborough Prince Co. has come. So, like I said, this was just an add-on. And then I just actually ordered the full boxes. So, that is it for this portion. I'm just going to get started first with the Crafty Banana. So, like I said, it was an overstock sale um, and a misfit sale. And I feel like her shop, she never does these things. And I... <sighs> Her releases, like her sales go up later in the evening and I, it slipped my mind. So I was late to the game. I really wanted to get some of Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans, some of her like samplers and her freebies. They were like bundled together, but I missed it and that's okay. Um, so I typically, I try not to buy, well, I guess I should say I am trying not to buy too far advance in a season because there's so much good art that ends up coming out. And I always just get stuck in a pickle because I'm like, oh, what if there isn't enough art that I like? And so I buy like one or two kits ahead of season and then, especially if it's on sale, and then I end up finding so many kits I love. <laughs> I guess it's a good problem to have, but this is, is a Christmas kit. I used a scene kit from Crafty Banana last year and it was the Santa Claus spread. Here, let me pull it up in my planner really quick. Um, I used it for the last week of December. Let me zoom you out. So it wasn't my favorite, but I learned a lot from it. I got the full scene, which I love and could do again, but I shouldn't say I love. I liked it and I could do it again with lots of tweaks. But this time I was like, I think I want to try just the smaller size spread um, or scene. And that's exactly what I got. So this is actually just the full boxes. I pieced together kind of my own kit and that was just what was available. So this is the scene kit for Christmas Vacation, Griswold Family Christmas. I love this movie and I was debating on between this scene and the Santa Claus scene. And um, so I was excited to pick up this one since I was debating it last year. And I actually think I'm going to use it for that last week in November to, to kind of transition from fall Thanksgiving to December. Because I feel like these colors really lend to that. Lauren from Lauren Plans did that last year and I really love that. So anyways, beautiful scene. I'm excited to try out the smaller um, scene like I said. I was able to the least side. I was able to add on the glitter headers in this like sampler. It comes with full boxes, and I definitely needed this last time, and I didn't get it. So I made sure to pick that up this time. Then I got the date covers, and I love that it comes with that extra box. Then let's see. Oh yeah. Then I got three sets of boxes, which is another thing I needed. In the mini kit, there just was not enough boxes. And this is not even a mini kit, so that's why I got three sets. I got, let me turn this around. I got one of the squared off boxes, and I like that it comes with a mix of the pattern and some plain. And then I got two of the rounded ones. I really like rounded, so that's why I did two of them. Um, I feel like I just... Yeah, I like the variety. So I'm really hoping that this will make a really good mini kit for me and my planning style. I definitely will have to pull in some um, bottom washi, but I don't think I will have a problem with that because I have, like for example, this red, oh, perfection with some snowflakes. So I already know one and I'm sure I'll find another in the meantime. 
So yeah, I'm really excited about this and that I was able to kind of make my own little kit. Then next up, I got some of the mini candles. I got spring in the air is in the air and it's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas. She has two different sizes. She has the bigger ones and which are probably about like one and a half of this. They're pretty big. And then this is the mini size. And I personally have gotten the minis in samplers and really like them. So it comes with, let's see, 12 different scents. And then she does it like, again, so you get two of each scent, if that makes sense. Um, and these were Misfit as well, so they were discounted. I honestly, I looked through, I can't find any Misfits on really anything. So, um, like I think this one has a slight bend, if you can see there. That doesn't bug me, that happens in like packaging all the time. And yeah, all the cut lines are good, so that was exciting. I'll do a little zoom in if you wanna pause on some of the scents. But she has really good photos on her um, websites. So then I got some samplers. You, I totally forgot to put in Taylor's code because I was so like, ah, I gotta get it. Um, Place my order fast since I already felt like I was late. But I got a little pack of flawed freebies, and that was exciting. So I got two little stamps of the scene kit, and these stamps are really cute in theory. I have no idea when I'm going to use them, but that's, that's okay. They're cute. Maybe in my monthly spreads or something for happy mail. Ooh, for happy mail. Obviously they're not real stamps, but if you put them on the other side for like envelope seals, I think that's what I might do. Super cute. Then got some more freebies. So I got this one, which is from the like Cindy Lou Whoville and it comes with even more candles, some scenes, present freebie. So I'm gonna stick that right in with my Christmas kit. This rainbow freebie that came with her rainbow coffee cups. And then, let's see if I can scoot it all. I can't quite fit it all in frame. There we go. Then this winter one from the Gilmore Girls set. So yeah, I love all these freebies. They're so fun, so cute. And I'm really happy with that Crafty Banana order. So that is all I got from the Crafty Banana. If you need a code, go to Tattoo Teacher Plans. Taylor, she um, has a code, I think, for 10% off. And I think it's just her name, Taylor. And you can get her freebie as well. So fun. Um, let's see. Next up is Rose Colored Days. So she was participating in one of the sales. And as you can see, I've already totally opened this all up. Sorry, not sorry. Um, part of her weekend sale is everybody got a pen. So on the first day, it was this, this black pen. And then the other two days, it was different colors. And it's really pretty, like, matte black. I like the shape of it. And these are not... Ooh, this is fancy. Okay, sorry. Um, she said that this was not like necessarily for her vellums, but it's just a gel pen. Cute. Okay, love that. I love myself a black pen. And then, I have this attached. I picked up one of her famous vellum sticky notes. I couldn't commit to like a full, I know that it's like really hard to find the pen that works on these. And so I got this shape because my plan is to use it to mark, like put the sticky note on the kit that I wanna use it for. Like if I'm using a kit, um, it would go on the like sleeve and I'd say, oh, I'm using this on May 3rd, if that makes sense. So I got this one and it was on a discount already and then I got the sale price added to it or the sale discount. Rose gold little leaf detailing and then the little like swatch and this was in the black or the gray. So you can tell that's what it looks like in the stack. So it looks really dark, but then when you separate it, it looks pretty light. So especially if you put it towards a lighter background. 
I'm really happy with it because it serves the exact purpose for what I want it to serve. And it's always fun to try out something new. So I'm really happy about that. And that came pre-packaged in its own little cute packaging, <laughs> obviously. Then um, next up, let me take out my invoice. Next up I got, let me go through the freebies first. Do, 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 do. This cute um, freebie in orange foil, which I have the perfect kit to pair it with. And it just comes with a full box overlay and some header overlays. I didn't put in any coupon codes or anything, so I think this was just a random freebie, and it's so cute. I love the clear paper. It's so aesthetically pleasing for a freebie, and um, it's just really generous that she threw it in even without like putting in a PR person's code. Then for her extra freebie, like her freebie was the first, I think, 200 orders of the day, you get a pen, and then everybody else, no matter what, you get the PVC freebie. There we go, that's the sale. Planner Boss Collective sale. And it's her new overlay um, type, I don't know, font. And it's in this star dust. It's so cute. I thought about getting a roll of this, but yeah, you couldn't pick the foil color. It came in a couple different ones. And this is a like blue hollow. And it's really, really, really pretty. So that's super fun and generous. And of course her business card, which I'm obsessed in a world full of roses be a sunflower. Like what? So cute. So I don't typically save business cards, but I am definitely saving this one. I love it. Then her May little dashboard, which I don't know what to do with this, but it's cute. And then let's go into the three things I actually got besides the vellum sticky notes. I got this roll of gold overlay date headers and um, I got this partially to go in with my grab bag of like the, what is it called? Header, the banners, I don't know. The date cover sheets, it's like the plain ones and then you're supposed to put the overlay over. So I partially got it for that and then partially just for my PP Weeks planner because some kits that I use or I just use over like stickers that I just have extra of, then I always have some date covers and it was on sale. And then of course I got an extra discount code. This is the font and I think it's so cute. It reminds me of Ray Dunn and I love her gold. So let's see, I tried to roll it out for you. It's super cute. Let me tell you what the font is because I know it's kind of overwhelming on her website. At least I personally think so. Um, okay, this is in Ray Ray. Yeah, so I got this for four dollars, which was really awesome. And then, um, the vellum sticky notes that I showed you this is the floral collection half circle wreaths in dark gray and rose gold, and I think it came with hollow as well, and a couple different colors like you could get purple or something else. So that is that. Then what I mainly came for was this grab bag of these date covers. I always love her date covers. She always comes out with so many. So I was excited to just get a grab bag. Sometimes for shops, if it's just too overwhelming, then I like to get a grab bag. It's like, you just tell me what to use and I'll fit it in. So um, this is the gray little banner. Zoom out gray banners um this is from her this is halloween collection and this is for um you're supposed to like double it up if that makes sense if i can find the end not gonna actually do it but i'm not sure if the font i got is probably not for the double it up but you're supposed to like double it up with like a script more of a script over it but I'll just use it as is. Then the star, which these plain ones, these are perfect for these overlays. Like, ta-da! And this is from the Pastel Stars Collection in blue. Um, watercolor Rainbow Collection, option three. 
marble collection, rose gold marble, spooky collection. So you can see this is from like Halloween-ish. Spooky collection in purple. It's really pretty purple. Watercolor rainbow, option two. This is Halloween, which this is the only one that I probably won't use. And then the peeps, which, eh. But overall, I feel like I got a good variety and I was surprised to get these types in my grab bag. I thought it was all going to be banners, um, which I like. I like the variety. I'm all for it. That's the best part about grab bags. Then lastly, I got the mini months. I am out of my mini months and I really wanted to repurchase. And I love that these were a little bit smaller so they could fit on a smaller label. I have one from Kinsey's Creations right now, which I also love. And I love just the double fonts. And you get two sets, which is awesome. I also love that it has the seasons as well. So it has every month. And then it also has like, hello spring, hello summer, fall, winter. And you have the double sets. And I just got this in black. So that is it for my rose colored days purchase. Like I said, pretty small order. Hi everyone, I am back with another portion of my haul and this is when it's gonna get dangerous because the beginning of April hit, like the first weekend of April, Easter weekend, every shop was like, oh, Easter sales or spring sale, spring cleaning, you name it. And I'm, I fell for it, I definitely fell for it. So. Um, I didn't do too, too much damage, but you'll definitely see some, uh, some orders very early on in April and hopefully they'll come throughout April. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to start April off with a no spend. Yeah, no, that didn't work. But Crest Press is amazing. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I know everybody else has like pretty much had the same experience. Her shipping time is unreal. So her sale went live April 2nd. That uh, was like a Thursday. No, a Friday. I got this in my mailbox delivered April 8th. That's six days, people. That is six, day six days from processing or from placing the order to it being in my mailbox. That is like mind blowing. And her processing time and shipping is always good. It's always like typically around a week or two weeks at most, but it's just unreal. I look, I like think back on how I've waited seven weeks before for some shops. And then this was, <laughs> this was six days. And I'm like, I don't know. I just, I want to support other shops, but sometimes my impatient soul just loves this. And I don't even need this kit right away. I don't need any of this. Well, I need one of this sooner than later. Anyways, regardless, I just wanted to give an extra shout out to six day turnaround. It's mind blowing. Okay, so she, Chris Press, was having a spring clear out sale. She had some misfit foil, um, some little foil sheets, and then everything else was 15% off. I didn't do too much damage compared to some other people that I saw on Instagram, but I got what I wanted and what I needed. And um, yeah, so let me just start off first with really, really what I wanted. And I was so excited. So this came in a cute little set. I've already taken the packaging off of four of them, but I kept the packaging for one. Came in this cute little bag. And, um, and I will also say that my stuff all came in a big bubble mailer. So not even a bubble mailer, a big envelope. So I didn't have to pay extra for shipping. And I wasn't sure with like headers, but I was really excited. So that was awesome as well. Um, but these were misfit. She said that the cut lines were to 15 millimeter um, overlay size, not header overlay size. So she was very upfront about it. And I don't know if the foil necessarily was misfit, but I think it was just the sizing was misfit, like the perforation. But um, she labeled it misfit shimmer header overlay tape grab bag and $5. So each of these were $1 essentially, but it came in a set of each of the core foil colors. So you knew the colors you were getting. 
um, and you knew the cut line situation. So it's like, okay, yeah, sure, I can cut my own. That's fine. Because it was in my favorite print, and this, like, the shimmer is my favorite print out of all of hers. That's what I have all my, uh, almost all, I think, mm, two out of three, two out of the four I have in this. Yeah, two out of the four. No, no, no. Wow, math. Three out of the four I have in the shimmer. There's only one that I had to get in, like, the pixie dust, which is fine, too, but the shimmer is my favorite. Um, so yeah, so it came all wrapped super nice. So I wanted to show you kind of what it looks like. So I just unwrapped and here are your five colors. You have, let's see if I can pick it up here, silver, then, um, hollow, sparkly hollow, gold, and rose gold. And her rose gold is more of a pink. I did um, unwrap all but silver because I figured I would show you because I know there's different variations. So the top is her gold. It's a very hot gold, but you can see the pattern. That shimmer is my favorite. Um, then you can see the rose gold. And actually, I do feel like that's a lie. Her rose gold is copper for her overlays. I do know that. It is, um, it's pink for her other like scripts and stuff. Let me pull it out one moment. I have some paired with them. Um... Here, you can kind of see. So it is pinky for everything else, but her overlay tapes, I did know this. Okay, so it is a little bit more coppery, which I prefer. Then you have a sparkly hollow up top and then hollow here. So that is the only other like misfit that I see. The rest of the tapes look good. Well, I haven't rolled out the silver yet, but that doesn't bug me because it's sparkly hollow. So the chances of me using that are really rare and it's blended in pretty well, but maybe you can see that. That's really the only other thing that I can see. I think it's mostly the cut lines, but there you go. One more kind of without blinding you. Um, a little look, and then of course there is the silver as well. I just didn't roll it out. So super duper happy at that. That is, um, I have the 15 millimeter overlays, but I was kind of dragging my feet on header overlays. Um, but now that I'm kind of getting more into foil and I like foil overlays over certain kits, like I really only like glam planners headers standalone but every other shop I like overlays over them so since I don't exclusively shop at Glam Planner I'm really excited for these and that deal oh, I can't get over that okay the next thing is she released these little um I don't know what they would be called I'm trying to uh trying to look but I don't know um, I think it's just some scripts, some mini scripts. Yeah, mini script sheets. So we knew they'd be mini. I don't know if I knew they'd be this mini, but it makes sense because they were only 75 cents per sheet. So, um, they weren't misfits. So yeah, this is my freebie though. It's in gold foil. So just an overlay box, my favorite icons and some really great scripts. I love how useful her overlay or her freebies are. So I really just got two. Um, scripts. I think she had about eight to choose from and I believe these are still in stock in shop and I'm not sure by the end of the month but they were. It'd be worth checking out and so were these uh, the grab bag. So I got movie night and I love her scripts. They're so cute. So I got it in gold and I like the variety of sizes. I think that's so cute and when it's like the two-tone um, fonts those are my favorite. So gold, silver, and hollow. I love watching movies um, just as a way to unwind on the weekends or at night, so I'm excited about that. And then grocery shop. And I think that's really cute. I love the stack. And I just got that in gold and silver. So I am really excited about those little scripts. And then the last thing I got 
this has been on my wish list for a while and then when she said that the rest of her shop was 15% off I was like okay might as well because she doesn't have sales super often and 15% is like the highest I've seen her go so I was um it was worth it for me this is the under the stars kit and this came out around um I want to say before New Year's because some people did New Year's spreads with this and that was really stunning and then some people did it for like winter um and I really wanted to get it but I just didn't have a reason to but we have some close friends that are getting married in September and I was like oh that's perfect for the fall with the deep colors and I think it'll be really good to break up the other fall kits so I'm super duper excited that I got an excuse to buy this and my husband will be in the wedding so that's kind of why um but yeah so cute I love that gold it's even better in person because it's like a darker I like that all the boxes are really dark too I think it's will be really really pretty in September and in the fall with these colors because there's not a lot of blue in the fall time and then yeah I didn't get the 15 millimeter add-on because I just love this I'm trying to decide if it's like if it's weird to put an overlay oh, I can't oh there's my gold can you put overlays just over the top I don't know if that'd be weird because you almost need a double Maybe I'll somehow get a, like, would it be a 30 millimeter overlay? I'm not sure. Or I'll just leave it as is. So pretty. And then it comes with this extra um, fashion girl in the different skin tone. And I think the detail is so stunning. So it goes just to this one. And then I added on this girl because, oh, she's stunning. I want to look this way all the time but for weddings like man I wish so anyways that is my quick little haul from Crest Press um I will leave what I I'll leave her shop link down below um but yeah again under the stars kit her mini scripts and then her shimmer overlay header overlay misfit bundle Okay, this is going to officially be the last section of my haul. I think I said the last one was going to be my last one, but this one's going to be my last section. It slid in right at the end of April. So yeah, this is an order from Sugar Pop Fizz, and she participated in one of the collaborative sales, and it's so cute. She started putting, like, this was inside the envelope, so I just wanted to share that, but cute washi and pull this out so first up is her really cute business card then there is the april freebie and mal who is the shop owner she just packs this with freebies and it's really fun on the facebook page you get to vote on oh no the die cut it fell out oh no it's stuck <laughs> in the Facebook group you can like you get a preview of the freebie and then she picks like three things to vote on so I think this time it was like the butterfly the quote in these flowers and people voted for the butterfly to be the die cut so that is the April freebie then this was the TPC sale freebie and it was all garden themed really cute then I put in the notes to seller um Stuff Plan Sparkle, which is Rowena. You can see all of her Facebook, like, uh, not her Facebook, her PR members on her Facebook or Instagram page. And um, I just thought this one was really cute and fun for summer. Then since I'm part of her Facebook page, I could also get the Facebook freebie. Sorry, I just blinded you. It's in gold foil and it just has a lot of decorative foil of course foil floral elements okay and then this is my actual oh wait no this is the other freebie the 15 plus freebie so it kind of goes um she has tiered freebies there's for every sale 
This is the all orders and this is the $15 one. Okay, this is what I actually ordered. <laughs> so the first thing I went through my dividers and I um, noticed I needed some more gold dividers. So I got this and it is the squiggle and it's the smaller squiggle. And I think it's really cute. They're kiss cut, which I love and just more of a hot gold, which I personally prefer. Then she has all these really cute date dots in different patterns. Um, most of them are seasonal. And so I decided to get the daisies one because I think they're really cute. Want to try it out. I've never had like date dots like this. So. Then I got the last of the backpack, little backpack collection. I have the other two pages and then that was the third. Let's see if I can pull it out. And my little school album. So this was more of the like pinks, orange, yellow. This is the blue, purple, like darker. And then this was like the in-between. I feel like it went like this. I, yeah. So, um, as you can see, I have these colors. I really just got it for some of the green tones because I felt like that was really missing from my little pack collection. So I love those and I obviously just slid it right in. <laughs> Already ready to put it away. Then I got these gardening ones. And um, now that we own a house, there's a little bit of a yard and stuff grows like crazy there. Like we have to mow the lawn like at least once a week. And I really want to plant a garden and there's already the previous owner had some plants already. So got to figure out how to do gardening and to do it more often. So I'm excited for that. Then this came on a sampler and I loved it. I probably would have passed it up in shop, but, um, I really, really love this. I think it was under like the summer doodles and for like planning. And I think it could be used year round. The color scheme goes with so many things. And it's really good for just like, if you just have a long planning session or organizing, or if you're planning something else, like I used it for like some house planning stuff. Cause I just felt like we just had stuff all over, like browsers, um, like all of our computer stuff open. So. Yeah, I think it could be used for a lot of different things, just like a big project. And then I got two PP Weeks kits. So let me zoom you up just a smidge. Start with this one. This art came out last year and it was so cute. I really wanted a kit from it, but I just, I couldn't, didn't have enough room in my lineup. So that's what I've been really loving about PP Weeks is to use art that I missed out on or that I'm not able to use in my main planner. So I wanted to pick this one up. So she calls this South Florida Resort. And I just get the simple kit with the no add-on. It comes with a little washi strip. So yeah, I love these patterns and these colors. So fun. I'm excited to start using summer kits in my PP Weeks. Then another summer, but I guess this totally could go for spring. Yeah, that's totally spring. It's called summer reading, but the colors could go either way. Um, yeah, summer reading, and this art was from Coffee Doodles Co. It was so cute, but again, it couldn't fit in my lineup. And the colors, I feel like, are way more vibrant than I thought they would be, so that is always a win. And the little daisies that I got would go so cute. I'm not sure if I want to. Ah, yeah, probably. They're so cute. So yeah, that is that PP Weeks kit. So that is it. It's just a small little order. Um, I love all of the sales that she participates in and it's fun to try new things or to pick up things that I probably wouldn't have gotten full price um, or just, you know, save money. Maybe I probably would get all this stuff full price, but it's good to save some money here and there. And that is it. Again, this is Sugar Pop Fizz. And that is the end of my haul. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I will catch you in another video. Bye everyone.